In this example, so we're going to simplify completely. We're basically adding fractions or subtracting fractions. So for the first one, we're going to first simplify the signs because I have this positive and this negative, and that's just too many signs. I only need one. So I'm going to rewrite it as 4x over 9, a positive times a negative, say negative, 9x over 9. And then when you're adding or subtracting fractions, what do you must have in order to add them or subtract them? The denominator has to be the same. In this case, it is 9 and 9. So you can automatically go ahead and subtract. Now, because you have variables in the top, in order for you to subtract this, the variables have to be the same and to the same power. In this case, they're both x's and they're both to the, pos to the power of 1. So you can go ahead and subtract. 4x minus 9x, that gives you a negative 5x over 9. That's it. Cannot do no more. Cannot simplify the numbers. So you'll be done for that example. Now in the other example, you're doing the same. You're adding fractions. Now, the denominators, are they the same? No, they're not. So how do we make them the same? Well, the least common denominator between 2w and 3w is 6w. So your least common denominator is 6w. So what do I have to multiply this 2w by to get to 6w times 3? So what you'd ever do on the bottom, you must do on the top. In this case, 3 times what gives you 3, 6, 2. So times 2. Okay? Now, we're simply going to multiply. So 3 times 5, 15, over 6w, plus 2 times 8 gives you 16, over 6w. Now the denominators are the same. Therefore, we can go ahead and add. So I have 6w here. The top, we can simply add them, and that gives you 31. 15 plus 16, 31. Can you simplify 31 and 6 W? I don't think so. So that will be your answer for the second example.